Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So on the last video, I left off by telling you guys on this video that I will show you the batteries, the charger, the controller, and the medications that I take. So first I'm gonna start off by telling you about the medication. So I'm actually on baby aspirins, but these are aspirins 325. So I actually just cut these pills in half and it equals out to a baby aspirin. Then I take warfarin. It's a blood thinner because by me being on the L bed, I have to keep my blood thin so I won't suffer from blood clogs. I've actually had a blood clog in my lungs before. And I take spinolactitone. It's like a blood pressure pill, but it helps with potassium. It helps with water. It helps with a lot, actually. Then I take Carvelol. This is actually my blood pressure pill. It's Carvelol. 12.5 milligrams. I actually was on Losinopril 40 milligram, but um, I had just recently got sick and my blood pressure was steady dropping and it was making me fall out and they didn't know like where it was coming from. So they cut my, they cut my blood pressure medicine down to just that little pill. I take it twice daily. So, okay, we're going to move along to the um, batteries. So these are the batteries. This is the charger. See, it say see it's a heart make charger so in the morning when i unplug myself from the wall the wall part i put i take one of these batteries and i put it in this see and you see this part right so you have to make sure that it is lined up it's lined up and use and i have to do it like this See, now you see, Oop. now you see that, and I have to do it like that until it's in, in tight, get real tight. And you have to do the same thing for both, for both of them. And I just put it in here. Okay, so this is the controller. Okay, so it say my pump speed. My pump speed is 9,000. Then it say my flow. My flow is 5.2. Then it say my PI. My PI is 7.1. My power is 5.3. Then it say charged. So basically, I just wanted to open up to you guys. I just wanted to open up to you guys and let you know about what I'm going through every day as being a heart uh heart failure patient and the LVED patient. I don't feel like heart failure is talked about as much as it should be to me. People, I feel like people don't know a lot about heart failure and how it plays a big part in sickness nowadays, but um, it's t it's touching, it's touchy, but I'm, I'm coming along with it fine. I feel like I'm doing way better than I was at first. I don't really feel like since I've been sick, I don't feel like I've actually ever let it just down me until like two two years ago around this time I had a TIA. I suffered from a TIA. That's a mini stroke. I lost my eyesight in my right eye for four for four minutes exactly four minutes. They thought I was having a major stroke, and I actually panicked more when I heard when I heard cold stroke than when I found out that I had to have open heart surgery. It put me in a very dark place in my life, a very, very dark place. I was scared to be left alone. I was scared of the dark. I didn't want to go outside. I didn't get back to myself for like six months because I was scared. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't know what was going on with me, and I was just terrified. But I said, now I'm way better. Like I tell anybody, it's God first, then Lyola. I put my all into Lyola and to God. Like with, with them too. I feel like everything's going to be okay. And I just want to let you guys know, like, my life, my life story and what I go through and what I don't go through. And just open up to you guys about everything. So you guys, you guys can feel free to leave comments and ask questions. Or if you know me personally, you can text me and tell me what you want me to talk about in the next video. And see this right here? This is my drive line. 
And it's actually, I have a hole in my stomach right here that it's, that it's coming out of. And it's actually going into my heart and it's pumping my heart like that and stuff. So, um, you guys can let me know what you want me to talk about on the next video and I would. Just, I'm open to see you guys about anything. See my scar, I'm not going to let it go down too far. But see my scar right here. Yeah, like, when you look at me, you won't even think that I've been through all this. But I have been through a lot, like a lot. And I just feel like it's time for people to hear my story, hear how blessed I am, hear my testimony. So thank you guys for joining, for subscribing to my channel and watching my videos and joining me. And I hope you love these videos as much as I love making them. I truly appreciate each and every one of y'all just for listening to me. Love you guys. Thanks. Bye.